guys, it's Susan and Kate and welcome back to my channel. So today I have pinched a seat height reduced, chassis lowered, S1000 XRT from work. We've just got it on demo so I was quick to just get out on it before um, tier 3 lockdown happened in Manchester. Um, so I've just managed to get down to my dad's house. He currently owns the previous XR model, the old shape the S1000 XR Sport SE. He has it in triple black. So I thought I'd nip down to Atherton, show him the bike, cause he's not actually seen one of the new ones in the flesh and just get his reaction and see how he think visually it compares to his. So without further ado, let's bring Daddy-O out. Okay, so before I go and grab dad out of his house, he's probably chilling with his feet up with a brew right now. Here it is. So this is the um, TE version, as I mentioned, it's in ice gray. This one has got a high windscreen on it. Oh, I tell you what, I absolutely adore that color. I don't care what anyone says. So let's go and disturb him. All right, Dad. Okay. Have a look at this bad boy. On this time. The new XR. So basically, the next version of yours. You've not finished painting it yet, Dad. No, come on. I love the primer look. You don't like it? Colour. It's alright. What do you think of it, like front end compared to yours? No, because yours had like a, a strip light up here, didn't it? I don't know, I think they both Down just... It's more like symmetrical. Yeah. I don't know, I might be talking through my book there, but... Well, I'm hoping that you'll drag yours out in a minute. <laughs> so we can have... <laughs> Come on Dad, do it for the tubes. Different than can. Yeah. Frame's different. Yeah, it's different around here as well, with fairing on that. Yeah, definitely. Brakes are different. Well, they badged up different. There was BMW and I think the Brembo one. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh. Uh, the alloys are different. They've got an extra gusset on, like a supporting straw. Uh, what do you think about the tank? Well, that's different. I think it, mine's better than that. I like that. All, I like. Yeah. Well, that's your field mouse holder, is it? <laughs> field mouse holder. Yes, yeah, um, so it's got a little hidey hole. Does yours have one of those? No. no. And obviously, keyless. this is keyless. Mine's not keyless. You've got to put your key in there. I think I prefer mine to that. It just loops. Yeah. Loops better. I think for the really new versions of this, this is now painted to match the colour of the bike. I mean, you bike. could tap that up, but... Yeah. What do you think of the screen? That's different. Well, the dash even. Can I sit on it? Yeah, of course you can. Is it... Uh... So, remember, Dad, this is a seat height reduced one, so... It's going to feel re... It's turning into a midget there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flat footed on this one, I'm not flat footed on my own. I'm, I'm a bit more on balls in my feet. Um, I don't know whether it's a result of this one being lower, but my backside feels it's pushed back into the into the seat. Mm. Which with mine I feel more that I'm pushed forward. Yeah. And if I wanna I've got to push my bum back then I'm more in a more of a leaning position. Uh, Bracket's different. 
mine's just two clamps I think. Mm. I don't know that bars are wider or thicker or not, but might just be an optical illusion that the bars feel might be more chunky. Yeah, they? like more meaty. Uh, obviously not that TFT screen. I like that idea. That is much better than than mine because mine you've got a, there's no lever like that on it. That's a much better idea. I like that. Yeah. Um, to be honest, it, that's on the right hand side. This mm. is not on that side. Yeah. Oh, Dad, one thing that's going to annoy you. Are what? you ready? Levers. Adjustable on both sides. Oh, yeah. <laughs> BMW, why didn't you do that in the first place? So, yours didn't have adjustable uh, an adjustable clutch, did it? So, it was just kind of that was the reach that you had and you just yeah, got to deal with it you have to stretch armstrong to, to <laughs> deal with that well that's that's much better it's a simple feed one thing it's the same, same on them all in it i don't know where you'll ever get round it but all the bms i've ever had have never had any problems paddling them back at all yeah I mean, when you sit on this and the foot pegs are right where your feet are and they dig in yeah. so i'd say it's probably the only bm that i've ever had where be carsered yeah. through, through paddling it and whatnot, but I suppose that's a compromise of the trade-off you get with mm. having a... Because I think with the GS, I, I feel like the pegs are a bit further forward so your feet can sit comfortably straight, you know, at the side of the bike without being pushed out. And then obviously with the sports bikes, you've got more of a rear set so your feet can go, well, your legs can go in front of it. But with the sort of this style bike, it's the same with the F800R and the F900R as well. The yeah. pegs are very like where your legs go down and yeah. if I mean, you're in a great riding position but not so good when you're paddling and... yeah <laughs> can't have everything in mind <laughs> no that's true i do like these these tft screens though. i like that idea yeah especially knows me old eyes are going <laughs> <laughs> no i like yeah, i like that and it's got a sport screen as well. So if you go across on the wheel now, like to its side, notch it that way. Kind of like, does oh, yeah, yeah. it? Got it? Like, yeah. other way. No, so it's like. Mm. Oh, I'm trying to turn the bleeding thing. Yeah, no, no. So now if you press the down button and on the menu, down button on the menu. Yeah. it'll take you onto a sport screen. Yeah. which is like the screen that they've got on all the BMWs now that have a sport style pack. So like the F900XR, if you go for the red one, which is a sport style pack, that's yeah. got this screen. I really need that with your mum on bike. Why? No, I'm joking. Oh, oh right. <laughs> no, mum would be having kittens when she sees the lead angles. Steve, why are we doing 30 in this 30? <laughs> what would you like me to do, darling? in 25? <laughs> but it will do it in six gear, so happy days. <laughs> Good. Right, very nice. Right, so do you think you can drag yours out and we can do a direct side by side comparison? Go on, I know it's raining, but. Oh, why are you oh thanks, Dad. Okay. You're an angel. <laughs> Triple black goodness. Oh, yes. He's got his pizza delivery box on there as well. Moonlighting as a delivery driver. <laughs> Oh, just in time for the rain, Dad. <laughs> Skin's waterproof. Well, semi permeable, but so, we'll go with that. <laughs> all right. You think you and me? Yeah. So, right. Yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting when you get them side by side, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Straight away, you can see differences. Like it's a narrower screen. But like I was saying before with this one, Yeah. you've got to do it. You gotta pull it down with your fingers. Yeah. Whereas a lever. Yeah. When you're riding, that's not particularly easy to do, is it? No. But on that one with that lever, and ideally if it was on that side. Yeah. Top banana. Top banana. Yeah, she's that not much different to mine. Yeah. So well, I've got a lock on that one, I know, but yours has got that extra thing on the yeah, side. Yeah, and it, that comes with a lock as well, as standard. Did that one come with a lock or did you put no, that on? No, I had on? to buy that. Ah, right, okay. That's a Nippy Norman job. Nippy Norman. Nippy Norman. <laughs> um, do we think the bars are thicker or do you think it's an optical illusion? 
it's hard, isn't it? Because that's got the cover on the mount. Co uh, cover I on think the it's bar. probably an optical illusion, to be honest. Yeah. Your badge is in a different place than, True. than mine. So, because this is a Sport SE, you've still got all the tasty little tricks, trick bits on this as that. So, you've got your cruise control, your heater grips, your dynamic, you know, electronic suspension. Yeah, power takeoffs in a different position on. Ah, right, yeah, so the DIN, din socket. Yeah. Is it on the other side? Yeah, it's on the same side, but yours is on the on there. Ah, yeah. Whereas mine is. It's a bit further down. Further down, yeah. No problems with that. No dramas. Right, so we've had a, a brief look at that dash. So we'll have a look at this one. Oh, Dad, you do a service. Good job you booked in. Right, so this is what it looks like. You've got 60, your... 64 miles. What is? To Blumgarth. 64 miles and back? No, so 70 miles, 140 miles. Yeah. But I weren't hanging about. And what, did you use a full tank? Yeah. Oh, right, 140 miles full tank. Dad, yeah. you rebel. Right, yeah, so this is what the dash looks like. You've got your modes there. You've got how much fuel's in it. Dad being an absolute hooligan has caused this to be so far down. Uh, gear indicator, miles an hour, he's telling him he's got um, 32 mile range left. So it's quite a similar trip info, you know, press that, you'll rotate through all your, your info, you press the down button, it shows you your lap times, race info, enter, setup menu, Cruise control, push it that way, push it down. Dad's been having a bit of trouble with this cruise control on this one, but it could potentially be linked to aftermarket levers. We've got the LSLs on these. I think it's a German company, is that right? No idea. No idea, fair enough. Um, but obviously these weren't um, adjustable levers and they were really far out. Um, so if Dad was struggling with his spade hands, go and show us your spade hands compared to mine. Look at that. So he was struggling, um, there was no chance of me riding it <laughs> without having to come off to pull it in. Yeah, so we're going to look at that at work to see if the adjustable levers has caused any issues with the cruise control. Coming back to this, um, you've got your mode, mode button, just like the other one. It focuses, there we go. So you press that. Changes it to dynamic, rain, road, heated grips, again, just like the other one. With the top spec models, you get this as standard. Two, one, off. Indicators on one side, not like the old school BMWs. Yeah, you've got a key to get in there. It's a keyless on that one. I just like this design better. I think it just breaks it up more. But yeah. Then again, that's just. And like you've put your stickers on, haven't you? Just yeah. to customise it. Just along here. Yeah. You could have put them along the side, but I suppose it's got that rubbery type of material anyway. Yeah. And we've put a. Oh, we put a little wonderly side stand, make bigger up. <laughs> yeah, I'm always suspect of uh, little side stands. Yeah, so they are slightly asymmetrical the lights, aren't they? And they've got that strip down the front. And then... It's that thing you've got to isn't it? Have you got the keys for that? Oh, gosh, have you yeah. just rolled it in? Switch it on and we'll look at the lights from... They were brighter for a start. Yeah, so yours are like the yellow bulbs, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe the, the glow work, gone for the glow worm effect. <laughs> the candle in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could um, get an upgrade with some of the, you know, the it's LED. Steampunk, that's why. Uh, <laughs> steampunk, all right, okay. Yeah, so, and you know what this has? I don't know about yours. Cornering lights. No, this doesn't. Right. The 1290 KTM had the Super Adventure. Yeah, so this one does now. So um, when I took it home and it was pitch black when I left, I think it's a good idea. The other day, I yeah, like I was on the slip road and it just illuminated it. It was glorious. Yeah, it's a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Like but that. no, I don't think the camera's picking it up as bright as we can see it. If you look through the screen, it looks like it's got a bit of a green tinge to it. 
Yeah. But they are really they are bright, bright in real yeah. life. Definitely. Wetting and burning juicing, yeah. Right, Dad. So this is Sea Height Reduce. Could you just hold the camera and just film me getting on? So oh, actually that wasn't too bad, I got on quite easy, but in the mornings when I'm a little bit groggy, I tend to find that I'm a bit like, <laughs> so I just end up doing this, just to get on. But yeah, so see how it reduced, pretty comfy, um, if I've got my feet up, I've got a solid foot on ground, it's quite manageable. It's a mons bike. I'll stick with the seat I reduced one. So do you want to sit on yours as well? We'll just see. Okay. Yeah, so if you sit on yours. Bear in mind I'm not going to be stack heel bike boots on. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's fine. If I want to be at all. Just nudge my bum over a little bit, I can have a flat foot on one side. Oh yeah. And how tall are you, Dad? 5'11". 5'11". Cool. Yeah. I suppose you've got a bit more weight than me as well to sag the suspension of Just it. Just a couple of stone. Just a couple of stone. Only a little bit. Yeah, two or three. <laughs> two or three. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I'm just shy of 17 stone. About 5'11", 5'11 and a half. Yeah. But, yeah. But two up, this is... Um, it's awesome too. I yeah. mean, you know me. I mean, uh, I'm a twin, a twins man, really. Flatter the better. But what I found with you, I like talk when you're pulling away. I like that grunt when you're pulling away. And it took me some time to get used to this with it being so buzzy. Yeah. I didn't feel like I was when I had to give it a load of resin. I was pretty conscious about that at the beginning. You feel like a bit of a prat sometimes. But got used to it. No problems at all. And what I was really surprised with when I had your mum on the bike, I mean, first time she'd been on a bike since we had her bump 30 odd years ago. Yeah. Took her out and quite happily, 30 mile an hour, 25 mile an hour in some places, in top gear with your mum on the back, roll up to a traffic light on red, it changed to amber green, just accelerate away and it just pulled away like a train. There was no problem at all. Yeah. You know, so in that respect, I'm a convert. Um, I still like my twins though. I know, I think next time your bike's in for a service, we'll get you out on a, a modern GS and you can see sort of how that 1250 engine feels. Oh, quick one, Dad. How do you find the vibration on this bike? Um, like, if you're being truthful. If I'm being truthful, on a good run, there's a little bit of vibration. I put heavier bar ends on. Uh, there is a little bit. There's a tidgy little bit in the foot pegs and your mum did mention that she felt a bit of buzziness in the foot pegs as well yeah i've got to say i'm more i'm more tired when i've rode this on a long run yeah than when i've rode a gs so you think it's a bit more like fatiguing like just how buzzy it is maybe For me, really, yeah. because i'm getting older now but <laughs> but i do find i don't know whether it's that buzziness or the end i don't know but a GS for me is more relaxing, albeit still tramp on with them. Yeah. But it, I don't feel as fatigued when I've, I've finished a long yeah. run on a BM as opposed to this. Well, do you know what? I think we're going to have to get you back on camera after you've taken this one out because it will be nice to see. <laughs> oh, you're not so sure about that? I'll take on Brad anything, mate. Yeah. No, so we can just see, like, because obviously I haven't ridden this because I can't ride this because it's far too tall and you've probably not let me. <laughs> but I've only ever ridden that one. So mm. I can't personally compare it just yet, but if you got on that, you yeah, could. It'd be uh... interesting to do a, a bit of a comparison. Yeah. Uh, like I, said, I can't, I can't fault this. I can't fault this at all for for what what it is. Like I said, there's a bit vibey, 
had a bit of an issue with the cruise control, but whether that's because I put aftermarket levers on, I'm going to have to have a look at that. I'm we'll get it sorted. I'm not 100% sure on that one. And just the foot pegs here, but other than that, it's, it's pretty damn near perfect, really. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it glad you good, like it. It was a good, uh, good choice to get. Certainly after going from a GS, a 1200 GS, to KTM Super 1290 Adventure. Super Adventure, which was phenomenal. The engine was phenomenal. Yeah. If you could have, I don't know if you could have that engine in this, this bike, it would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. But um, this seems to be the progression from that one. And like I said, maybe I will go back to the, the 1250 when they've done it, because I'm liking the, the sound and the things you've been saying about that. So we'll see. Yeah. But certainly for the time I've got this and whatnot, I'm more than, I'm more than happy with what I've got. Oh, that's ace. Super. Good to hear. Yeah. And takes a big stonking pizza delivery boy top box as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Take two helmets. Oh really? Yeah, Is it a jivvy one? Yeah. Oh jivvy, jivvy. Jivvy, jivvy. Take two helmets. I mean the stuff I've got in here. <laughs> oh my god, you're going away for a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, like I said, two helmets. Do you know what? Actually, that, that brings me on to something. So the triple black, the Sport SE of the old one, comes with these pannier rails um, when you go for the SE version. Whereas on this one, it's moved over to a more Vario. Um, Is that what these are? So yeah, they're there and that, oh. and they slot in. Yeah. Um, now I know that they were doing red panniers for the racing red one mm -hmm. for the ice grey i don't know if they've got ice grey ones yet or if it's just black panniers black yeah i suppose grey might be a bit too much but <laughs> like visually but yeah so it's got a different um I mean, I've system. Got to say, i'm not a great lover of bmw panniers i mean on, on the old girl i've got bmw panniers yeah i never use them and i put a give you plate on yeah and transfer that over yeah but um that you can't beat them at all no you do love your you give you well, what the, are they called trekker outback the, outback trekkers i think yeah but the bumper oh. I and mean, i've got the panniers as well i've not put frames on yeah but again the beauty is you can take them off and for the price of a fixing kit you can put them on any bike you've got can't you so yeah and like true. i said they're uh, absolutely bonner, good good awesome yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah so dad thank you for being on the video today i'm sorry that i've roped you into it hey. um, it's all part of being a dad though um so yeah if you have owned the previous model um or even the new one or you've ridden them both how do you find it compares right so next video i'll post up will be a riding vlog um it's not ideal we've got slippy leaves all over the floor it's wet, it's on brand new tyres, which grims me out a little bit, won't lie, but the things you do for the tubes. So yeah, I'll get a vlogging video. Um, I suppose it's good to see how it performs in the wet, uh, in rain mode and such. So yeah, so until next time guys, stay safe. Dad say bye. Bye. <laughs>